Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Titans walk away with a six point victory. Tim Brown had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Raiders beat the Colts. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Jarvis Green is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Four years, $3.3 million, plus a $1.0 million signing bonus. This guy will also be locked up for a while as he signs a healthy six-year contract with the Titans. Joe Johnson is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Four years, $2.7 million. Carlos Joseph will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Lions. By the warm waters of Tampa Bay, we had the Buccaneers fall by 10 points. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins get squeezed out by four points. The Vikings got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at the HHH Metrodome. Texans, Jets. Jabbar Gaffney is in his own territory, but he's got a lot of room to run. We know about his speed. There's a couple of moves. Oh boy, the defense overlooked him. He could go all the way. 76 yard touchdown. The Texans go on to win this by the final score of 17 to 13. We had a big injury in this one and Trey has the lowdown for us, Trey. All right, Chris, thanks. Luckily, we had a relatively injury free week, which makes my job just that much easier. Brandon Moore is arguably the biggest name on this list. He'll be out for 16 weeks. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. The Patriots won at home, but we'll take to the road next week to meet the Seahawks. Ah, 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 Shaquem had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Lions beat the Packers. In the city by the bay, San Francisco, we had the 49ers losing by 13. Up in Ralph Wilson Stadium, we had the Bills come away with a brutal 18-point victory. The Rams' defense held their opponents to under 150 passing yards in their win at Chicago. The Eagles won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Jets. And last but not least, we had the Chiefs come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN the worldwide leader in sports.